Hey everybody, welcome to this video. I'm Inkslora123 and this is going to be a book related video. So I really hope my fellow bookworms out there will really enjoy this video. I know I'm going to enjoy doing this video because I love all things book related. So yeah, please click like and comment and please subscribe to my channel. So I'm going to be doing a few different book things in this video, including uh, a giveaway. I've got a book to give away and it's this one okay and it's called editing emma by chloe sager i read it recently it's really really good i highly recommend it so i'm going to be giving it away and i'll tell you at the end of the video how you can be in with a chance of winning this wonderful book okay so keep watching by the way if you do want to enter my contest here on my channel you do have to be a subscriber of my channel okay so don't forget to uh click that subscribe button okay also i'm going to be showing you some new books that I've got a little book haul and um, I've got the uh, the list here of who I voted for in the Goodreads choice opening round awards okay so these are the people that I voted for I love Goodreads it's one of my favorite apps I'm always on it like looking up books and reviews and things like that and I get a lot of ideas for books that I read on Goodreads you know so yeah I'm gonna be reading out who I have voted for so yeah also I'm gonna put the link down below to my Goodreads page so if you want to come and follow me on there that'd be awesome see what books I'm reading I love Goodreads and I try and update it as much as I can with like the whole like currently reading read and then you know my reviews but sometimes I forget to click read so it says like I'm currently reading like 20 or something I'm like ah I've read that one so I have to update it but I do love it and I, I go on there a lot okay so let's start with the book haul yeah I'm um, gonna just pop my glasses on uh, sorry if it's not very good lighting i'm in my bedroom which is quite a dark room because i've got black and white wallpaper so it makes the room quite dark i've got my lamp and the main light on but it's still really grim and like murky looking but anyway it's cozy right let's 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 think of it as cozy lighting um so yeah new books that i've got so first one I have is this one and it's called Girl Missing and it's by Sophie McKenzie got this from WH Smiths love WH Smiths so much it's an awesome shop it's got the post office upstairs it's got books it's got stationery it's got magazines I just love Smiths so much I'm always in there and uh, yeah I got this recently I read a book by Sophie McKenzie called Sweet Freak and I really loved it it was really good all about kind of online cyberbullying and friendship and it was just really really good so I uh, definitely recommend that book to you um, but I thought I'd check out this other one by her this is supposed to be one of her like most well-known books very very you know good reviews about it so um, yeah girl missing I'll read the back to you if I can read in this dark light <laughs> okay um, what if everything you thought you knew about your life was a lie uh, Lauren is adopted and eager to know more about her mysterious past but when she discovers she may have been snatched from her real family as a baby her whole life suddenly feels like a sham why will no one answer her questions and how can she find her biological parents and could her adoptive parents really have been responsible for kidnapping her? Running away from her family to seek out the truth, Lauren's journey takes her deeper and deeper into danger. And as she realises that someone wants to stop her uncovering what really happened when she was a baby at any cost. So there we go. It sounds really good. And as I say, it's had a lot of good reviews. So yeah, that's that one. The next book also got in WH Smith's and uh, it's called Killer Game by Kirsty McKay. Who will be left after the lights out? Um, I've not heard of this book. Like I watch a lot of booktubers and I go on book review pages and things like that and I've not heard of it. I don't know anything. I'm going into it kind of like completely open-minded. Um, <coughs> I'm so sorry if I cough in this video. I'm just getting over the flu, so yeah, it's kind of gone to my chest a bit. So if I cough, I'm really sorry, because I know listening to someone cough is really annoying, but I can't help it. Anyway, so it's called Killer Game, and I was just drawn to it. I saw it on the shelf, and I was like, yeah, I like the look of that. Uh, so it says, this is Killer, and you have all been invited to play, and you should play like your life depends on it. Um, at Kate's 
isolated boarding school killer game is a tradition only a select few um, are invited to play and they must avoid being killed by a series of thrilling pranks and uh, then they have to like, identify the murderer but this time it's different the game stops feeling fake and starts getting dangerous and Kate's the next target can they find the culprit before it's too late I just think this sounds blooming amazing like seriously I think this could be great I've got so many books in my to be read list right <laughs> in all my three bookcases but I think I'm gonna have to kind of push this up to the top of the list because I just think it sounds really cool uh, yeah I really like the sound of this so that's killer game um, on the back it says uh, um, this book in three words dangerous thrilling and funny so yeah I'm really excited to read this. Um, next up, I've seen this book so many times in bookshops and I'm always like, should I get it, should I get it? And then I go and watch booktube videos and people review books and hauls and I always see this book and I finally got it. And I think it's gonna be good. I think it's gonna be worth the wait. I was destined to read it, hopefully. <laughs> um, so it's called Since You've Been Gone and it's by, I think that's Morgan Matson. Is that Morgan Matson? Um, I think that's what it says. It's very dark in my bedroom. It looks like Morgan Matson. I think it's Morgan Matson. Anyway, <laughs> it's called Since You've Been Gone. You've got two girls on the front there um, in their cute little outfits having ice cream. So, you know, it's, it's supposed to be funny and heartwarming, which is always a good thing. Um, <coughs> Sorry. Right, okay, so it says, Emily's best friend Sloane disappears almost without a trace. The only thing left behind is a to-do list. So on it, 13 Sloane-inspired tasks that Wallflower Emily wouldn't normally do. And definitely not without her best friend. But what if completing the list could bring Sloane back? Uh, so dance until dawn, sure, why not? Kiss a stranger. Mm, go skinny dipping. Wait, what? Emily only has the summer to check everything off Sloane's list. And the question is, what will she find at the end of it? Oh, I'm so, I'm so excited to read this book. It sounds so cute and just sweet and positive and fun. And yeah, I love it. I even read like really dark, depressing, scary books or really like sweet and girly books. Like, I don't know. And everything in between as well. So that is Since You've Been Gone. Okay, the next book is Holly Born. It only happens in the movies. I love the cover. It's very bright yellow and it's got popcorn on it. Um, I just think it looks really cool, basically. <laughs> I like the cover of it. Um, so it sounds like it's a bit of a kind of girly romance kind of book. Um, so it's by... Oh yeah, Holly Born. I said that, didn't I? Sorry. Um, bad Boys Turned Good. Kisses in the Rain. Climbing Through Bedroom Windows. It only happens in the movies. Uh, when Audrey meets Harry, it's the start of a truly cinematic romance. Or is it? Audrey knows that Harry is every movie cliche rolled into one, but she still chooses to let him into her heart. This is a proper slushy girly book, right? I should save this for like Valentine's Day or something. I might do that. I might save it for like February. It's not too far off to wait because you need some romantic books at February month, you know. Um, so, yeah, and also my granddad was called Harry random information but there we go so yeah that is that one um next up this was actually sent to me from one of my viewers and fellow youtubers we've done like a book swap um it's eleanor and park and it's by rainbow Rowl. is it roll Rowl? i'm gonna look such an idiot now rainbow Rowl, i think that is um i love the cover i think it's so cute where they're just like next to each other with their little headphones joined and stuff um i've heard a lot of good things about this book for so long and uh we did a book swap as i say she sent me some other books as well i sent her some books and this is one of them. I'm definitely going to put this up on my to be read list, like early kind of thing. I'm going to push it ahead of some of the others because I really, really want to read this. Um, and so it says, Eleanor is the new girl in town with her chaotic family life, her mismatched clothes and unruly red hair. She couldn't stick out more if she tried. Park is the boy at the back of the bus, black t-shirts, headphones, head in a book. Kind of sounds like me, that actually. <laughs> 
Um, he thinks he's made himself invisible, but not to Eleanor. Uh, never to Eleanor. Oh, slowly, steadily, through late-night conversations and an ever-growing stack of mixtapes, Eleanor and Park fall for each other. They fall in love the way you do the first time when you're young and you feel as if you have nothing and everything to lose. Oh, it sounds so adorable. Now I'm thinking, should I keep both of these for February? Because they're like Valentine's kind of romance, but... Hey, you can read romance any time of year. It's like people that only read horror stories and thrillers at Halloween. I read scary stuff all year round, so... Yeah. <laughs> okay, the next book I've got to show you, I'm very excited to read. I'm obviously excited to read all the books I get, but there's like a different level of excitement for books. Does, does that make sense? Like, I don't know, I can get a book and I'll be like, yeah, I'm really excited to read this, but then I get another book and I'll be like, oh, I'm so excited to read this. So it's... It's all excitement, but at different levels. Anyway, so this is the Red Ribbon. Uh, can I just say how beautiful um, the like presentation is of this book? It literally is. It's bad lighting in here, but take my word for it. It's such a beautiful looking book. It just looks like so smartly presented and you kind of open it up and it's just, oh, it's just so lovely. Like, yeah. They say don't judge a book by its cover, but there we go. Um, now, I've heard a little bit about this book. It's supposed to be very emotional, and uh, it says, The four of us, Rose, Ella, Marta, and Carla, in another life, we might all have been friends together, but this was Birchwood. As 14-year-old Ella begins her first day working at Birchwood, she steps into the world of silks, and seams, buttons, lace and ribbons. Ella is a dressmaker, but there is no ord but this is no ordinary work sewing workshop. Um, hers are no ordinary clients. Every dress dress she makes could mean the difference between life and death. This room, this place, this world is all about survival. Um, it is obviously a Holocaust related book, and I am Jewish, so like this is gonna be like Ooh, uh, you know, I know I'm going to need like a lot of boxes of tissues, do you know what I mean? Because I'm going to be crying. I know that now. I know that I've got a couple of books in my bookcase, right, that I know I'm just going to cry my eyes out when I read. But I still want to read them because the way I look at it, if books make you feel emotion enough to make you want to cry, then they're affecting you and you're taking it in. That's a good thing. Even if the subject's sad or bad, if it's making you feel something, then it's a good book. There we go. I'm getting very deep. There we go. Um, but yeah, The Red Ribbon by Lucy Adlington. It's only come out recently, I think. Um, and yeah, I think it's going to be a wonderful kind of sad but emotional book. I know I'm going to cry. And it's weird, actually, because my grandma, Jeanette, uh, she was a dressmaker. That was her trade. And she was like always like in the shop, in it, like her clothes shop, wherever it was years ago, making all the clothes. And she used to make all my school uniforms and everything. And I don't know, this, this is the, and obviously she was Jewish as well. So if she was still alive, I know this is the kind of book that she'd have probably like really had emotional like connection with. So when I read this book, I'm going to be like, grandma, dressmaker, Jewish connection. Yeah. Maybe I'm getting a bit too emotional. I'm going to shut up. <laughs> okay. Anyway, and the final book... <coughs> Sorry. The final book that I want to show you is this one. And uh, it's by Holly Small. It's Geek Girl. And I'm very excited to have got this. Um, this is number one in this big old series. I don't know how many there are exact, but I know there's quite a few. Um, and I'm just so happy I've got this. I got this in a charity shop for like a pound. Um, from Geek to Chic. So this is number one. And what I'm going to be doing is, um, in the next coming week, I'm going to go to lots of different charity shops in my area and kind of look for the others in the series. And the ones that I can't get, I'm just going to go on eBay or on Amazon and get them. Because then at Christmas time, I have this all planned, right? At Christmas time, I'm going to have like a series of this. This is going to be my kind of, you know, you have time off uh, from work at Christmas and I read a lot that kind of time. So this is going to be like my planned christmas read series so i'm gonna look around charity shops and online for the others in the series and yeah i've wanted to read geek girl for like ages i hope it's gonna be worth the wait because i've heard like great things about the series um i love the cover as well i think the cover is so cool 
So it says Harriet Manners knows a lot of things. Cats have 32 muscles in each ear. Uh, bluebirds can see the colour blue. The average person laughs 15 times per day. Really? <laughs> I think I laugh more than that, but still. <coughs> Sorry. Um, peanuts are an ingredient of dynamite. But uh, she doesn't know why nobody at school seems to like her. So when she's offered the chance to reinvent herself, Harriet grabs it. Can she transform from geek to chic? I don't know. I think being a geek is pretty cool, though, to be fair. But, you know, we'll see. So, yeah, I got that one as well. So they are my new books. Uh, tell me in the comments um, you know if you like the look of any of those books that I showed you or maybe you've got them or maybe you want to read them just just comment whatever you like because I love getting your comments I always reply to people um, so now I'm gonna read you um, who I voted for in the Goodreads choice and this is the opening uh, round awards 2017 there were lots of nominees in each category you go down uh, each category and just vote you know and then you press the button it says next category and then you vote again and so forth so um, I'm going to tell you who I voted for in the opening rounds um, so best young adult fiction I voted for one of us is lying because i absolutely love that book by the way some of these that i voted for i've never heard of or never read but i had to vote obviously in every section well i thought you had to vote i don't know if you have to vote in every section but i was like well i'm here i might as well vote do you know what i mean give someone a vote um but most of them i have read ish <laughs> but some of them i haven't anyway so i have read one of us is lying and i loved one of us is lying it was a fantastic book by karen m mcmanus so good like really adored that book definitely one of my books of the year so that's what i voted for in best young adult fiction um best young adult fantasy and sci-fi i have voted for the amazing cassandra clare lord of shadows a wonderful series i love mortal instruments i am a little bit obsessed with all things mortal instruments so that was like obvious that i had to vote for that one um, but yeah, it, I said here, runner up for me, and that um, was Veronica Roth, Carve the Mark, because that was good as well. Even though people were a bit mm, about Carve the Mark, I really liked it, I have to say. I'm looking forward to uh, the next in the series. Anyway, uh, next uh, is Best Middle Grade in Children's Book. I have read a few younger books, I ain't gonna lie, but I hadn't read any of the ones that um, were in this section so I <laughs> I literally voted for the goldfish boy by Lisa Thompson because I love goldfish because I've got a goldfish called Wilma so who's watching me as I film this <laughs> she's literally staring at me at the front of the tank she probably thinks it's dinner time soon um so that's who I vote literally because I like the name goldfish but yeah uh, best picture book um, I voted for We're All Wonders by R.J. Placio or Placio, I don't know how you say it, um, because I haven't obviously read that, but I did read the book Wonder, which I loved. Like it was such a sweet, lovely book. So, and I really want to see the film. I don't know when the film's out in England, but I really want to see it. Um, so that was that. And best fiction, I voted for Ruth Hogan, Keeper of Lost Things. Um, I haven't read it yet, but I have got it to read. It's in my bookcase over there. And the others I saw in that category, I was like, mm. so I'll go for that one because I've got it to read. Hence, I like the look of it because I bought it. Uh, the next is um, Mystery Thriller, and I voted for The Girl Before by J.P. Delaney. I love that book so much. It was freaking great. It was really, really good. Really well wrote. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, best historical fiction i haven't read any of them um that i saw so i voted for a column fire by ken follett and it was just because i <laughs> like the look of the cover it was literally i looked at all the pictures of the books in this section i was like yeah it looks a really cool cover i'm being honest all right <laughs> um best fantasy i have read i voted for ve schwab a conjuring of light love love ve schwab amazing books honestly and that one was great next best romance i've i don't really read like like adult romance kind of thing like for me i like young adult romance but i don't really read like adult romance as such but anyway so i voted for a book uh, called Egomaniac by Via Keyland and the only reason I voted for that is because I like the name 
egomaniac who sounds a little bit like myself sometimes and also the bloke on the cover looked pretty nice so I was like yeah yeah I'll vote for egomaniac um next up best science fiction um so I voted for Star Wars Thrawn by T uh, Timothy Zane I'd never read it but I like Star Wars so I was like yeah go for that one best humor once again not read it but I voted for um, I Can't Make This Up by Kevin Hart. Um, best Horror. Oh, the reason I voted for Kevin Hart, by the way, is that I think Kevin Hart is really funny. And he seems like a nice enough guy, so I voted for him for that. Uh, best Horror, I voted for Final Girls, which I love, uh, by Riley Sager. I love that film. Film. <laughs> I love that book so much. It was really, really good, Final Girls. Um... Best non-fiction, I voted for The Stranger in the Woods, Michael Finkel. Just because I like the title, The Stranger in the Woods. I don't know what it's about, but Stranger in the Woods. Sounds a good title for me. Um, best autobiography or memoir, I voted for Minx Laura 123's autobiography. Not really, I, I haven't got a book. If I did, though, it would be a pretty interesting, weird autobiography. The things I've done in my life. <laughs> anyway, um, I voted for um, the most, the most beautiful. My life with Prince, um, just because I used to like Prince music, and yeah, I mean they had Hillary Clinton's book in the uh, category, and I was like, what? No, thank you. <laughs> Lock her up. Anyway, sorry, not getting all political, but just saying. Um, <laughs> Moving on, um, best history, I voted uh, for, I can't find, oh yeah, it was best history biography, and I, just, I voted for Churchill's Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare by Giles Milton, not read the book, but you got to love a bit of Churchill, respect, English girl has got to have respect for Churchill, do you know what I'm saying? Uh, science and technology I voted for we have no idea um, about the unknown universe by Georgie Cham and Daniel Whiteson I haven't read it but I yeah um, cooking and food books <laughs> no I, I'm a useless cook I can't cook for shit seriously um, I ended up voting for a book just because I liked the name of it because I thought it sounded really really funny it was called give a girl a knife it's, this doesn't sound that funny when I'm saying it out loud, but when I was reading the book titles, I just thought it was funny. Anyway, uh, by Amy Thielen, is that? Can't even read my own writing. Um, comic graphic, graphic novel, I voted for Wonder Woman, just because I love Wonder Woman. Um, best poetry, um, I, I do like poetry. <coughs> I have to say, I do like a bit of poetry. Um, but I've not actually read, like, a poetry book for years kind of thing. Um, but I, I, I voted for Depression and Other Magic Tricks because, obviously, um, I'm very open that I've got, like, mental health issues with anxiety and I have had depression in the past and things like that. So I just thought anything to help people, and maybe these poems are uplifting and stuff like that to help people, depression must be a good thing. I hope that's what the poems are about, otherwise I've just completely wrong but anyway and that was by Sabrina um Sabrina Benaim and best debut Goodreads author I voted for the lovely Stephanie Garber who always tweets me back when I tweet her on Twitter so that's really sweet and that was for Caraval because it was a cool book I did love Caraval it was good and um I got the special edition cover and everything like that but it wasn't as good as the night circus because like when it come out like everyone was like oh it's the new night circus it's not the night circus there's only one night circus for me and that is my favorite book of all time I love the night circus so I wish they'd stop like comparing it if they just said this is Caraval Stephanie Garbo it's a great book I'd have been like yeah it is but when they start going it's the new night circus I'm like no there's only one. But anyway, so they are who I voted for. Um, I don't really know how this Goodreads awards work. I don't know if it's like... I mean, it says opening round nominees. So they may be... Like, there'll be... Next week, there'll be more different books to choose from or something. I don't know how it works. But obviously, I'll keep you updated. And if you have voted already, let me know who you voted for in the categories. That'd be cool to know. And now... <coughs> I'm sorry. I hate coughing, especially on camera. It's so embarrassing. It's uh, it's the giveaway time. 
and then it's the end of the video um so yeah i'm giving away chloe sega editing emma this was a really good book it was so lovely it was funny it was emotional it was it was just great um online you can choose who you want to be if only real life were so easy it looks a bit like me actually look dark hair laying on my bed um got my laptop <laughs> just sitting there it's, it's me um and this is uh, basically about a girl called Emma, Emma Nash, who is a great character, I loved her character, and she's ghosted um, by the love of her life, Leon Naylor. So I didn't know at the time what ghosted meant, now I do, and I have been ghosted in the past, so yeah. That's a bit awkward. Um, but basically means when you're kind of going out with someone or seeing someone, and instead of them just like dumping you and just like ending the relationship, they just disappear. They just go away like a ghost and disappear. And so yeah, she gets ghosted and you kind of live, you know, the after effects of that. You live her life, what's going on in her mind, how she's feeling, what she does. Um, and then she goes on Facebook. She, she keeps stalking this ex because she wants to know what he's up to and who he's with. And um, it just basically spurs her into action and she uses the internet for good and she starts making up this this blog and writing stuff and she tries to like improve her life and um funny things happen you know i mean she goes on tinder and she finds her mum on there um getting catfished i'm not going to ruin it but something happens with a catfish story which i found really funny um and also she gets a different um partner like she gets a boyfriend and things happen with him that really made me laugh and it, it was just a really funny book um so yeah, it says on here many genuine laugh out loud moments and i agree it's very witty it was very funny and it's a really good read so i definitely recommend you check this out even if you don't win the contest because it's really good um, so all you've got to do to enter this contest to win editing emma is just put the word enter in the comment section okay so basically everyone who comments the word enter I'll know that you want to enter the contest to win this book and I'll put um, all the people's names in a drawer and in a month's time from today I'll put the date down in the description box so you'll know the kind of closing date you've got to enter and um, I will choose a winner so good luck to you all I'll pick it randomly um, but there's only one thing as I say, you do have to be a subscriber of my YouTube channel, okay? There's only one rule, so there we go. Okay, so good luck to you if you are entering. And also, you can enter from wherever you live in the world. doesn't matter where you live. You haven't got to be in the UK. You can live anywhere in the world. I'll post this book to you, I promise, okay? So good luck to everybody that is entering. Okay, <laughs> so that's the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I've enjoyed it. I hope you have if you have please click like and comment subscribe and come and find me on social media you know you want to um i don't know why i did that it's really weird um so yeah twitter is at minxlaura123 i do love a bit of twitter i'm very opinionated and rah, rah 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 and all that but i do love a bit of twitter and i get very excited when like celebrities tweet me or like my tweets <laughs> so Anyway, so yes, Twitter is at MinxLaura123. Instagram, which is my favourite out of all the social media, is uh, MinxLaura123. I put lots of selfies on and like lots of book photos as well. You'll always see what book I'm reading or what books I've bought. So a lot of book-related selfie pictures, yeah. Um, and yes, I mean, MinxLaura123 on Instagram and Facebook is Minx.Laura.5. I do like Facebook, but I've got a bit bored with it, I'm not going to lie. Um, I use it for the messenger mainly, so I can talk to Nathan and talk to my friends on there. But I don't know, hmm, Facebook's just a bit stressy really. People just like, wah, 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 wah. but I still got it, I ain't going to get rid of it. So <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Please subscribe. Bye. <laughs>